Hi everyone, welcome to this video. And here I want to explain about color theory. So um, I'm working in Photoshop, so I'm using with this uh, tool to uh, pick my colors. So you have this, these things that make a color. So you have a value, and that is this. In Photoshop it's called also the brightness, which you can also call it the value. So you can have a brightness of 0% that's black and a brightness of 100% that is white. And somewhere between is gray. And values are really important that, that let stick, things stick out. For example, if you have a white background, so something like this, and you draw with black, you draw a character here, it really pops out. And with gray, you could uh, draw the, the mountains in the, in the background. So value is really important for your readability. And you also can use uh, saturation. So let's see um, what we can do with that. So if you have this, um, this place, this, this thing, you can use a uh, variation of a saturation of 20%. And then still red, but it's way less intense, intense. So saturation defines the intensity of a color. So um, yeah, you could, so zero is white, 10% is pinkish, and then it gets more pinks and so on. So the color gets more intense. Um, and then, of course, we have the UE. And UE is uh, the pure color without value and saturation. So we can pick a uh, color like this or this. And it has the same um, brightness value or sat saturation. So you have all these different colors. And what you could actually do is you can take these colors and change the, the saturation and the value to get different uh, different colors. So you can also make color schemes with uh, colors. So for example, this is the color wheel. And the complementary color, uh, colors are the opposite colors of each other. So if you have the complementary color of uh, green, you get red and so on. Um, let's show that here. So here, this is this color wheel. And um, you have warm versus cool colors. So here you have the warm colors and here you have the cold colors. And um, that makes quite a big uh, difference. For example, um, we associate warm colors with, uh, or the, the sun uh, is uh, yellow or red. And we associate that with warm feeling. And um, cold are things like uh, water and ice. And so that's blue. So when you're using red and you're using the opposite color, you have a warm color and a cold color. So you can use that. And it's, you can also use it for your shadows and uh, in your light and your uh, light. Color harmonies, what I was telling with complementary color. So this is your color wheel. And um, then you can have an orange color against a blue color. And that is an opposite color. But you can also have an analogous uh, color scheme. And that is, um, for example, if we hear this is a color wheel, this color bar, bar. So if we have this blue and move it the slider a bit to the side, you get the, these colors that are close to the blue. So, and you can make a whole drawing with this uh, thing. And you can also have a triad, so there's a triangle in your color wheel, or split, uh, split complementary. That means you are making the opposite. Uh, it's the same as the first one. You have a complementary color scheme, but here you split it. So you have this pink against these two colors. So for example, if you would draw an, uh, an alien, you could, uh, um, for example, 
that would be a good thing. So here we have a purple alien. And uh, maybe it has this uh, this blue blue eye. Well, let's make this light because you can also make these colors lighter. It's also really intense. So you can play around with the saturation of this color. But then you can make this turn out more like this. And maybe you can use some darker dots here. So, and maybe you could use this green here for these things like this here. And maybe it has this, this mouth here like this. So, and that's how you can work with all these color schemes and you can make it also for different uh, characters. So there's also a rectangle and a square and you can rotate those, uh, those around. Um, you also have family of colors, so um, and there are different uh, uh, family of colors or different primary colors, and they started out with using these. So some people like to use a different one. I like to use this one because it is so um, yeah straightforward. So yellow, red, and blue, and if you mix uh, yellow and red, you get a secondary color orange. And if you uh, mix red and blue, you get the purple color and so on. And if you mix the primary colors with the secondary colors, you get tertiary colors, these here. So, and that's, I don't really use it, but when you're painting, you use this theory of uh, mixing colors. That's, it's really good to understand. Here I'm showing how to mix those colors and get the different colors effects. So uh, colors also have different meaning. For example, red has energy, passion, danger. Think of a red stop sign, it's always red. Or uh, green is harmony, balance, balance, safety, possess, encourage, but it's also nature. So we, we have these culture uh, meanings to, to colors. And so this is a video I use for my Patreon video, and there I go more into depth about different ways to create order with colors and i also tell about gamut mask and how to create one of the, those and how you use warm and cool colors to paint something like this and um, using values or uh, refraction what it what that happens when light passes through an object that is transparent like a prisma or a glass and then I also tell about subsurface scattering. So when it's light it's going through an object and then it gives colors. Um, if you press your hands against the lamp, you see that uh, you can see a bit through your hands. You see that it gets the color of your blood and your skin. So that is what I'm showing on my Patreon. And if you want to see the whole video of one hour long, you can uh, join my Patreon. You can try it out for free the first, uh, first weeks. And there I give weekly video lessons and I give also a homework assignment and I give feedback on people there. Uh, yeah, there are assignments. So head over to there for more information and uh, link uh, down here. And I also have on my Patreon, I also uh, post videos and of, uh, on my Gumroad, gumroad.com, Mitch Leeuwen, also link under this video. I have these different tutorial books where I'm explaining about different things. So uh, recently I just released this book about drawing backgrounds, how to draw perspective, uh, how to draw explosions, uh, backgrounds, and um, yeah, how I draw backgrounds. So that was this video. I hope you liked it. And if you have any question, please comment below. Uh, you can help me out by subscribing or liking this video. So I hope to see you in the next video. Thanks and have a great day.